So if I was a content creator, if you weren't a content, creator. oh, if I wasn't a yeah, content if you creator, weren't a content creator. If you guys want me to keep it a full stack with y'all, what I was doing before I was content creating, I was in school for biology. I wanted to be a pediatric anesthesiologist. Oh, can you spell that? Yeah. So pediatric, P E D I A T R I C, anesthesiologist, A N A E S T E S I A O L O G I S T, and a pediatric anesthesiologist. I feel like you made that up, but it sounds so good. I'm just gonna go with it. Man. I think I'm close. I feel like I'm <laughs> that close. Wow. What's good, everybody, man? It's your boy Kenny Chow. We are back with another mukbang video, man. I got a very, very special guest. Christopher? Is that your first name? That is my first name. Christopher? Is it Cameron Christopher or Christopher Cameron? Christopher Cameron Wilder. Christopher Cameron Wilder. That sounds like a pilgrim name, honestly. Like 1980s. Pilgrim? Maybe 1800s. You know, people sailing. Like, I never knew that was your full name. Pilgrim's crazy. I don't know if I like that one. You don't like Pilgrim? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, like Maybe one. we'll leave the Pilgrim. Okay. That, that's a very interesting name, mm -hmm. though. Um, uh, we got my boy Cameron Wilder. It's been a minute since we leaked back up. Uh, yeah, it's been about a couple years, y'all. Has it been a couple years? Yeah, I think so. Something around there. Yeah, you've been a MIA, dude. Yeah, man, I've been an MIA from a lot of people. Yeah, from the, you know, especially the Creator League. That's probably the last time y'all seen me collab with somebody. You know, I've just been doing my own thing, you know, coaching AAU teams and shit like that, you know? You yeah. have been coaching your AAU. Uh, yeah. Dude, you've been going crazy. What, what's the next city you're going to? Chicago. Chicago? Chicago. When is the LA one, man? We need the LA. You LA is some early, people. early June. Early June, okay. Hey, listen, let me know if y'all want Kenny Chow to be my assistant coach for LA. Ooh, let me know. I can bring all my Asian people. I need, I need an assistant, real talk. We can bring the whole Asian community. I'm with it. You love Asian people? I do. I do. All right, man. Uh, it's gonna be a quick little mukbang. Then we're doing a one v one. Not falling for Chow Dude. antics today. I'm not. You doing. literally, you no. What is he doing? Oh, uh, that's gonna be super exciting. It's gonna be a good time. Me beating Cameron once again. I think we're tied officially. Are we tied? All right. Well, that ties. J Law, me. I won. Okay. You won at Devin Lab. Crater League, you won. Crater League, I won. Crater League, it was uh, the one on one. Whatever, yeah, whatever. Whatever it was. Yeah. I won. And then when we played outdoors, I Outdoors, you won. Okay, so we're tied, 2-2. Two, two. We are tied. Five game series, or we're gonna make it seven? <laughs> uh, I mean, seven's cool. I mean, that, that's like real NBA stuff, right? Seven, I say seven. All right, we'll go seven, but um, we are doing a 1v1 today, man. Uh, don't know how I feel. I did see this dude, Body Friga, okay? That was, uh, I'll give you that. That was actually <laughs> That was the <laughs> most impressive thing I've ever seen you do in my entire life. I don't even For know real? why. I saw the moment, I was like, nah, there's no way he just bodies him. I'm like, boom, boom. I was like, for the game, I was like. Listen, bro, before the game, all I saw was Frigga's finna fry this little kid. Cam about to be Frigga's son. Frigga this, Frigga that. Frigga should be in the NBA. Fuck. <laughs> Frigga should be in the NBA, though. All right, relax. Um, but yeah, so. I, I took that, you know, personally. Okay. And I kind of, you know, went straight into the gym, worked, and I came out fifty thousand dollars richer. Was it fifty or did you split it? Twenty five thousand okay, dollars richer. So you split it. Okay. We'll just say fifty, just because it sounds better. All right, I got yeah. you fifty. Yeah. We got the fifty k creator league winner in our uh, that's me. our presence. That's um, me. What's new, man? Talk to me, bro. What, what's uh, you know, talk about life. Family. What's new with me? Um, yeah. You know, I'm in Houston right now, y'all. About to move from Houston. Go back to Arizona, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you're moving back from Houston to Arizona? Yeah. Uh, what else is new? Nothing really, that's about it. Just coaching these teams, man. You don't like Houston? It rains too much. It does It rain rains way too it much. I'm sick of it, because in my apartment complex when it rains, five minutes later, power's going out. I hate it. Bro, why don't you live in LA? Hell no. Why? It costs five bands a month for 400 square foot. Dude, not if you live in a, a, a Long Beach, Torrance. Oh, that's what Where it is. else, where else? Fountain Valley. Uh, where else? Carson. Anaheim. A a Anaheim's pushing it. Anaheim's pushing it because of Disneyland. Um, but uh, you yeah. ain't got to be in Hollywood. Eh. I don't know about Cali. I don't know if I like Cali. The traffic's terrible. Okay, it is terrible. I'll give you that. terrible. I'll give you that. If you're in LA, you know you never drive from 2 to 6.30. 2 to 6.30, pushing 7. That's the same I mean, thing in Houston, low-key. It is. Houston's yeah. bad. Houston's bad at traffic. Yeah. Houston, Atlanta, 
all that. Um, so nothing new, man. Nothing. No, no, that's about new. it, really, man. You know, I'm just staying underground. You know, this is rare, y'all. You will not see me collab with anybody in the YouTube community like this, unless it's, of course, Zone Six. I don't know if that's a thing anymore, but. You know, Kenward, I like Kenward a lot, so. Me and Ken go way back, all right? I got, I actually went through our messages the other day. I got a message from this dude back in 2000, whenever we collab at J-Law Gym and said, hey, Kenny, I got four mil on TikTok. We should collab. I'm like, damn, I should save this message because that shit was crazy. That was a long time ago. That was a while ago. I think it was a year and a half ago. Yeah. So, uh, and a lot of y'all be saying, I'll be using people. I'll be collabing with these dudes since they were from the jump, bro. We did the mukbang, Raising Canes. Kenny was the first YouTube collab I had. I don't wanna hear all that all that other stuff, man. See, finally, someone validated, bro. Everyone been saying I've been cloud chasing, bro. That's just, I've you known know, this crazy. dude from the jump, bro. You that's know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Um, but nonetheless, man, uh, I got some questions from the fans. Oh, um, okay. You know, I got a lot of fan questions. Okay. You know, you've been going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, People want to know, I guess, the outside of like, because everyone just knows you as what, Coach Can? Yep, Coach Can. That's what really else they know you as? Uh, Cam Bam. Uh, Cam Bam. Cam Bam. Wild Man. Wilder Guy. You know, Wilder Side. They know me about a lot of things. Any new tats? Cool guy, light skinned dude. Cool, cool cute, light skinned guy. Kelly Oubre look alike. They call me a lot of shit. Um, now, new tattoos. Yeah, when I move to Arizona, I'm finna get, I'm finna finish all this little empty space right here. That shit's about to get fixed. My leg, about to get the rest of that done. I'm about to get right. Why you only got on the right side? I don't know. I kind of like one side. Double, double's doing too much. You're gonna end up getting double. You think so? I may. If I like it a lot, I'll probably do double. I say by the time you. You're right. Probably 27. When I'm, older, when I'm older, I will. 27. I wouldn't be surprised if you just came out like flight reacts. Yeah. Neck, neck, yeah. all that flight, like this. No neck. I would never touch my neck. I may do like right here, or something like that. But whole neck's crazy. Mark this, man. In 27, let's see how many tats uh, Cam gets by then, bro. But um, let me see, man. Let me ask, let me ask uh, oh a God, good question. The Milwaukee question. Bucks are fucking selling. Selling? They're selling. Oh my God, they're only up three. They are selling. Okay, Wait, let's watch Jimmy this. for Jimmy? three. Oh, fuck. here we go, bro. That man oh, is dangerous. Oh, here we go. Not that Jimmy Butler again. That man is dangerous. Play off Jimmy. Yeah, that man. All right, let's do let's do one question in. Uh, All right. Um, all right, one question someone asked. Yeah. Anthony Martinez asked, what made you start coaching AAU? So what made me start coaching AAU? I'm going to tell you guys the real truth on how I started coaching AAU basketball. So mainly I was known for starting the sneaking in the AAU tournament trend on YouTube, right. YouTube uh, side. Um, and then I was like, damn, like this AAU stuff really busting. Right, and then Kenny Chow actually had an idea a very long time ago that he never executed. Um, he said he wanted to coach an AAU team. And I was like, damn, Kenny, that's gonna be a good ass idea. You giving me credit? I am gonna give you credit. Okay. I'll give, I'll give credit where credit is due. Hey. Kenny said a long time ago, I wanna coach an AAU team, but I don't know. I was like, let me wait on Kenny. Let me see if he's gonna do it. And he never did it from the time being. So I hopped on it. And I coached a team. And then I saw Drifty do an AAU tryout video. And uh -huh. I was like, damn, that's smart. Picking up kids from different cities. Let me do an AAU tryout. And that's kind of how it started. So Kenny with the idea um, of coaching AAU. And then tryouts was Drifty. So you're basically stealing people's ideas. I wouldn't say stealing. Uh, I would definitely just saying uh, someone's not executing uh-huh so I'm kind of executing if I'll you feel what I'm saying yeah, yeah yeah the only reason you guys are right, so a little flashback story this is back in New Orleans okay I remember this exact moment in New Orleans we're in the little uh the little snack room right and we're all just chopping it up I think I was just like Cam I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an AAU team bro and then he's all like damn that's actually smart and I was like yeah I'm gonna do it but to me I don't know I just wasn't really like into the coaching thing like, I was planning it out, and I was like, I don't know, really know if I want to do the AAU thing. It's not really my thing. And when I seen him do the Cam start doing it, and Drifty started doing it, I was just like, a part of me was like, I should have done it, but I knew at the end of the day that I don't think I could have done it to y'all level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I watch y'all do it, and I'm like, mm, I don't know if I could be that certain person or, like, maybe that certain coach. Yeah, because like, low-key, I'm getting to a point where I'm, like, being hard on them now. Yeah, like, like you're like, actual At first, coach. I was like, okay. This shit fun. I'm gonna do it for fun. It's all yeah. hee hee, ka ka, jokes and shit. 
He, he was. Now, Kyle, Kyle was crazy. That oh, was crazy. See, oh. I didn't mean to say that. But now I'm getting on my kids' ass. Like, I'm actually, like, cussing them out when they're doing something wrong. Actually coaching. I kind of like coaching. It's fun. Yeah. It's enjoyable. I think we talked about it. We talked about on the phone that uh, uh, my dream my dream job is actually I want to be a high school coach, a high school freshman coach. I think you mentioned that, too, yeah. kind of right when we were talking about it. I think that would be dope to be a high school freshman coach versus an AAU coach. I feel like AAU is just so, like, I don't know how to describe it, you, bro. You got to deal with parents. You got to deal with uh, parents. Just I've already dealt with parents, <laughs> bro. Oh my God, my first tournament, a mom came up to me. It was like, why my son not playing? Like we losing by two, and he's sitting on the bench. I'm like, bro, like your kid's not playing defense. It was a problem. Damn, it was a problem. So, so you actually coaching, coaching now? Yeah. You got plays? Plays? Yeah. I do have plays. What's your favorite play? I can't expose that. See, I feel Man. like a kid, a kid who's going to play against me in the future is watching my video, watching this video right now. Oh, what's your least favorite play? My least favorite play is ISO. Oh my god, I ISO? hate my, I hate my kids ISO. So annoying, but that's what I love to do. Okay. I, that's what I love to do in yeah. the YouTube space, but I hate when my players do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, record that. That gas. All right, another quick question from Kai Stunner. He said, "If you weren't a content creator, what would you be?" So if I was a content creator. If you weren't a content creator. Oh, if I wasn't a content creator. Yeah, if you weren't a content creator, what would you be? What would you be doing? If you guys want me to keep it a full stack with y'all, what I was doing before I was content creating, I was in school for biology. I wanted to be a pediatric anesthesiologist. Oh. Can you spell that? Yeah. So pediatric, P-E-D-I-A-T-R-I-C, anesthesiologist, A-N-A-E-S-T-E-S-I-A-O-L-O-G-I-S-T. And a pediatric anesthesiologist. I feel like you made that up, but it sounds so good. I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> I think I'm close. I feel like I'm that close. <laughs> I feel like that shit was bullshit, but we're just gonna go with that. You were so you were actually gonna go to like, what is that? So here's the thing. What is that for? Like so you know sports how, like, medicine? You, yeah. Uh, no, I don't know what it is. To be real, I forgot. But it's like. I don't know. You had to get you had to get a chemistry deg a degree in chemistry, four years of biology. It's basically like Damn. putting kids, you know how they put you to sleep with mm -hmm. the, uh, before surgery? That shit. But for kids. Oh, for kids. Yeah. So you're good with kids then? You always want to be okay. Okay. Um, then I switched my degree once social media started blowing up to communications. So uh, I can have like a marketing, a social, a social media degree. But I don't know. Bro, every athlete, especially hoopers, do communications. That's yeah. like the go-to degree for every person Ooh. I know, I swear to God. Ooh, Blake Monk just fucked his knee up. Ooh. Oh. Oh, no. Damn. Oh, no. Poor Malik Monk. Ah. Oh, hold on. Oh, look, look. Ooh. Oh, man. Damn, he did the bounce back, too. Damn, Malik, that's tough. That's tough. But yeah, y'all. I was in school for biology. Wanted to be a pediatric anesthesiologist. Wasn't taking it serious because I was playing basketball when I was in college. I had like a 3.3 GPA and what I what I needed to be at was a 3.75 to even be considered for it. So, yeah. I did not know that. That was actually crazy. Yeah. So what if in the future you could become a teacher but a basketball coach at the same time? Would you do it? A teacher and a coach? Yeah. I like would, but I would not coach biology. Hell no. Or I don't teach biology. Well, that's no. what you want to do. That is, uh, no. I wanted to be a pediatric anesthesia, not teach that shit. If, okay, listen. Usually high school coaches have to become teachers and right. have to teach a course. So if I was to teach a course, I'd probably co like teach maybe like health or some shit. You know health, some easy like, shit? Yeah, something easy. None too hard. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, I show speed account. Now it's the actual I show speed, yeah. but... Why didn't you? Why didn't you continue to pursue college slash professional basketball? Mm. Uh, for one, I was being real with myself. I was like, okay, I'm playing NAI basketball. Um, not even on the super. I'm not even on the main team for real. And I was like, am I gonna have a future in this? And then social media was blowing up for me. And I'm gonna keep it a bean. I saw that first check come in for social media. That's all I need to see. Mm -hmm. That first check, especially YouTube. It was really the first YouTube check. When that came in, boy, yep. I ain't waste no time. Got out of there in college. You knew what's up. And it just went up after that. But I still have three years of eligibility left. 
Um, Kenny, Kenny Chow gets a sneak peek here. Um, it, it's in the works. Oh. Of uh, going back possibly this year. What? So we'll see. You might suit up? Yeah. It's very, very Damn, possible. Damn, I did not know that. It's very possible I might suit up. Ooh. Sure. So you might, okay, we might get some what, game day vlogs or what? That is exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh. <laughs> This is exclusive content, man. You better hit that like button, boy. Yeah. Game day blocks from Cam Wilder. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. What do you think you start? What, what do you think your average? Oh, yeah, I got two questions. If you do play college, how much do you think your average? You're a full full time player, full, full time. rotation player. Um, how many you averaging? Be real. So, when I was oh, back in college a while ago, I was pretty ass. I'm way, way better now than I was then. Mm -hmm. And when I was on the backup team, right, the developmental team, I averaged around 27 a game. So what the developmental league is, it's like, you know small schools? Yeah. You know those small schools, small high schools who have like really good players, but like aren't that good, like really? They're just like the best player on their team? Yeah. That's basically what that developmental program was full of. All the NAI schools in Nebraska had those teams. I was averaging like 27 a game, it wasn't bad. Um, but if I play, I, mean, I play against grown men almost every fucking day now, especially with the park takeovers, going to Australia, playing against Australia pros. If I was to play college ball right now, I'd probably average around a good 18, 18 a game. 18? Maybe like 18, five and five. All right. You feel what I'm saying? It just depends, depends what level I'm on. If I go back to NAI, I'm averaging 20 a game. All right. How many points will you score in the NBA? You're a full-time player. Me. Yeah, full minute. How many points right now? Right now. How many points are you dropping in the NBA? I probably have the Grayson Allen role. So I'm scoring around eight to nine points a game. I'd right. be a catch and shoot guy. I'll score 15. You... What? Can you try to say he's more 15 points in the NBA right now? Can he? That would. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. No. You see all these players that get the open shots and shit, bro? I'm gonna give it a beam. I'm making that. Kyle Lowry's locking that shit up. But, but I'm not going to be... Big booty Lowry. Hey, locking that up. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> but see, the thing is that I'm not taking them one-on-one. -on -one. I'm throwing this, setting off-screen, curling around to the corner, wide open like P.J. Tucker. So you thought it was Steph Curry? Huh? I heard a whole lot of movement right there. Yeah, that's In what I would do. Screen. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd be open, though. They gonna, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm playing on, like, the Lakers, LeBron give me an open three pass, I'm not missing that. Okay, so if Kenny Child is averaging 15 in the NBA, I'm going to average 31. No. Our games are different. You're not a spot up. You're a shot creator. No, that's not true. Yes, it is. Okay, in YouTube it is. But, but like, you're my not, whole life I was spot up. You know, I was I never was able to drive to the rim or dribble when I was in high school. You still can, but I'm just saying. What like, the fuck? I just cooked the shit out of you like Damn. three months ago at that park. Bro, that was last summer. I cooked the fuck out of Kenny, y'all. Yeah, Bro! That was, literally, that, video. that was literally last summer. <laughs> that whole year ago. Wait till this next one we won. You're gonna be like, holy shit, Cam's been in the lab. Just don't leave me open. I think if you leave me open, it's just done for you. you How many dribbles are we doing? Five. It's cooked for him. All right, you get one, I get five. What the fuck? <laughs> you wanna do five or three? Five is perfect. Nah, see, last time I played three, remember you did that cheese ass shit? You was like, uh huh. Oh, grab it. I'm not leaving. That's great defense. That's literally cheating. That was great defense. You did this. Just grab. He just grabbed me, bro. Like he was grabbing a nipple. Or a titty. <laughs> All right. That leads me to my next question from. Damn. I don't know how to say this dude's name. Look. Jace Antatango. Jace Ata Thangle. Why are you always being sus? That's what people want. <laughs> Boy, talking about grabbing titties. I'm I not always soda. being sus, for one. Two, I was sus a long time ago. I'm not that same guy. Yeah, you're not as sus as you used That's to be. That's not me anymore. Though. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you used to be, he used to be a lot more sus, for no, sure. No, back then I was bad. Yeah. I was bad. I'm not was, that bad anymore. It was funny, but it was like, bad. Yeah. I used, to, I used to see those TikToks all the time. Those sex TikToks. Them Glizzy Too Busy videos used to bust. Them Glizzy TikToks. Mm-hmm. Even after, even after that, he'll be dancing, bro. You be dancing. What? All right. What size are your shorts, bro? Let's be honest here. Don't lie to the public either. Um, 
Some pair of my shorts are XL, but I roll them. Some of them are medium, fit perfectly. Like, why do you wear a medium? I wear a fucking medium. Cause I like them short. And wait till I have my full leg tattoo. Oh my God, they're gonna be even shorter. You got any small shorts? Small? Yeah. Like size small? I do. And you wear them? They're in my repertoire. Are you like, are you wearing like a tight compression shorts under that or like? No. What, Why would I do that? Oh, compression, sh like yeah, under. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Good. Yes, of course. Because like. I thought he meant like compression tights. Hell no. Some to not have the, you, know, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like, oh, my ball out? Some yeah. out. <laughs> some gonna be out. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's just sticking out like this. Oh, okay. Wow. All right, Camo asks, What's your top five NBA players currently? I already know one. James Harden. That's my favorite player as well. Oh my God, Giannis just threw a turnover. Oh no, he didn't. Okay, my bad. So, here we go. My top five current basketball players. Number one, James Harden. Uh, number two, Joel Embiid. Okay. Number three, I'm gonna go with Giannis Antetokounmpo. All right. Number four, I'm a, I'm a big fan of, what's bro's name? Katie. Katie's so nice. Okay. I better, and hear, then, I better hear. Number five is Jokic. Here's why it's Jokic. Here's why it's Jokic. Over I watch, LeBron? I watched Jokic play in person. He is nice. Jokic is nice. Yo, Drew Holiday just missed the first free throw. Did he? No way he misses this. Y'all are going to see this, and y'all probably know who already won, obviously, because the game's over. If Miami wins, that's going to be crazy. Jimmy Butler three? Jimmy Buckets. Hey, if I, was, if I was the Heat, I'd go Jimmy Buckets for three. Without, no, no, no if fans are about to that. Nah, they're going to go for the tie. Hopefully. Make Giannis put some more shots up. <laughs> Damien asks, are there downsides to being tall? Um, yeah, when I was on my cruise, uh, I was hitting my head, I swear to God. Cruises are small, like, oh, in yeah, the hallways. I was hitting the shit out of my head. I wasn't. So that was a downside. Um, but no, there's no other downsides. Oh, yes, in basketball. God, I hate when small guards guard me. Ah, uh, pisses me off, man. They're, like, short, fast, and shit. Look, I'm a big guard. Ah, pisses me off. Oh, you're a big guard? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. How much do you weigh? About 200. I bet I ain't like 250 though there, so. Doesn't matter, he's still gonna get cooked. Are we taking charges? Are charges legal? If you take a charge, I'm walking out the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's not, a legal guarding position. I'm not playing that there. That's fucking legal guarding you position. You can call a charge in a 1v1? That's crazy work. Oh my god. No All way right. I play against that. Alright. Damn. I guess you're not that pop, man. I ain't got that many more Christmas. Yeah. All right, y'all. We just witnessed Jimmy. <laughs> that was a crazy ooh. Playoff Jimmy just tied a game right now, game yeah. five, bro. Yeah. If you're watching this, it's probably over by yeah. now. But who you got winning everything? Uh, All right, Sixers. first off, okay. I was gonna say who you got coming out the West. Who you got coming out the East? Anyway? Coming out the West, probably Denver. Ew. Over the Lakers. And the East Sixers. I don't know because earlier today someone asked me and I said Lakers, but then I saw them play today. They look like they didn't give a shit. They, they so I feel like, yeah, I got Denver and Sixers. And the Sixers will win that in five. Wait, what? If we have a healthy Joel Embiid, no one's stopping us. I give you that. Here's the thing. The Nets double team Joel Embiid every possession, and we still swept their ass. He didn't even play. He even sat out a game and we beat him. Listen, Boston, Boston can't double team. But let's be honest though, the Nets. The Nets was are better. Really a, the Nets are better than the Atlanta Hawks. That's that's the that's a lie. That's like a fucking lie. <laughs> that's literally a lie, bro. They're not better. No, they're not better than the the Atlanta Hawks. They haven't even played together enough to be better than that's the Atlanta true. Hawks. That's true. Like they got maybe better somewhat players but like they're they they were like a fucking 
24 hour fitness team. That's true. You just brought in together and hoop. I'm just happy Joel Embiid can rest. Yeah. Get his knee right. And I need the Hawks to win tomorrow. Imagine. In That'd Atlanta, they forced a game seven? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they won. They yeah, hey, I'm gonna tell you right now. If Miami beats Milwaukee and Atlanta somehow beats Boston, Sixers are coming out the East. I don't think Atlanta beat Boston, though. I've seen crazier shit happen. Trey Young hit a step back fucking logo three on Jalen Brown with no Deontay Murray. Was that really? In Boston. But was that really like? In Boston. Not too many people can win in Boston. I'll give you that. Trey did it by his goddamn self. I'll give you that. But is Trey going to drop 38 again? I don't think so. Yo, what's wrong with Brooke Lopez? What is he doing? What? Is he, what? He's throwing dumbass passes. He's going to shoot that. Oh, good pass. Go up. Oh, strip. Oh. Off his leg. Ooh. <laughs> nah, Milwaukee? Let me find out if they're going to mess around and lose, bro. That's crazy. I should have done my five pick parlay on this fucking game. Damn it. Ooh, the easy one. All right, goals this year. Talk to me. What goals are goals? this year? Yeah, give me three of them, man. By July, I want 500K on YouTube, okay. which I'll hit. Um, end of the year, I'm hoping I can have 600, 700, something around there. Let's aim for a million, man. Um, yeah. Um, by July. I'm gonna have a high rise apartment in Arizona. Okay. I'm gonna have a Range Rover. A Range? You're charcoal range gray. Mm -hmm. Charcoal gray wrapped. Okay. 23 inch black rims. Limo tent windows. I need all that. Damn. Those are my goals for the next couple months. Um, you know, just spoiling myself kind of thing. You know, I think I've earned it recently. You do spoil yourself. Yeah. You wanna show them your backpack? <laughs> <laughs> you know how long I've had this backpack for? You wanna show them your backpack? Yeah, I've had this backpack. Actually, no, I haven't had that long. You haven't had that long. I, I mean, that's I mean, that's an easy gift I can spoil myself for. Like, that was easy. I feel you on that. Car, crib, okay. <laughs> vacation? What's your dream vacation? My dream vacation? I want to go to, uh, what's that shit called? It starts with an S. Sandals. You know how, like, they have those bungalows in the middle of the ocean? Where like the like Maldives, a, you mean? Yeah, Maldives. Oh. That's What'd you what say? Is. Sandals? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what sandals is, is like a... Uh, Where the fuck is Sandals? Sandals is like a resort kind of thing. Oh. I don't know. I, fuck, I fucking forgot. I may be just chatting right now. Oh, like, he want to go see Sandals? Oh, like, what the fuck <laughs> is Sandals? Boy, I'm at the Maldives. I can see you at the Maldives. Then you just go on a cruise. Where'd you go? Yeah. I'm in Turks and Caicos, mm. uh, Bahamas, and I forgot the other place was. Yeah. Close game. Oh, so, yeah. He put up 24 shots. Cash me 400. What do you need for that one? Wiggins PR at 24. All right, man. We just got done with the mug bang. Shout out to my boy Cam, as always. Yes, sir. Uh, it's good seeing you again, bro. Wish you nothing but the best, man. Check out his AAU videos. He's always on tour. Might be in a city near you. That's a um, fact. That's a fact. Nothing else to say, man. I appreciate you, bro. Good seeing you, as always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. You got anything else to say? Um, you know, I love being on Kenny Chow's channel. Do you? Um, I do. It's fun stuff. Honored. It's kind of how honored. I started. Okay, I feel um, honored. Love being on Kenny Child's channel. Thank you guys for having me. Uh, and yes, stay tuned. I might be in a city near you. Maybe. If you want to be on my AAU team, just be ready. LAAU team? Yeah. Duo? Might happen. 5K likes on this video. We'll get it popping. Another 1v1 coming too, man. So, uh, I'm finna bust his ass, y'all know. Just get ready. Right. Right. This video's coming out soon. I'm finna bust his ass. All right, all right.